Hi guys and welcome to another Divi theme video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignerTechTips.com. Well, we had somebody asking, we've been doing some image to text hover effects and somebody wanted a, an image and when you hover over it, wanted to have a gradient background and some text overlay. So we've done that here, really easy to do. We've done this before, but we actually did it with the Divi 3 theme. Divi's come a long way since then, and when we did it that time, you had to use some custom CSS for it. Now you can do this with no coding. It's really easy to do. So let's get started. First thing I'm going to do is enable the Visual Builder so we can build on the front end. And if you enjoy this video today, please give it a thumbs up, ring the bell, comment, share, and subscribe to the channel. Let's me know whether to make more videos on specific topics or not. Okay, well, I'm going to add a new row just underneath and I'll use three columns. Actually, before I do that, this is this works just as well on tablet and mobile as well. If I hit the little purple button and we switch to tablet view, as you can see, those are going to work fine. And this sort of thing will work great for an online store and you could link it to your product page. And there it is on mobile as well. Of course, on a mobile phone, you'd actually have to tap it to have it do that. So let's add a new row and get started. Little green button to add a new row. I'll use three columns again. Obviously, you use what you want. Now, the first thing we need to do is put in a module. Now, this will work with any module. You could use a call to action and link it to your product page. In fact, let's do that for fun. I actually used a blurb module up there. Or if you want to use an icon as well, use a blurb module. Okay, so here's a call to action. There's no button in there at the moment. And the button won't show up until we actually put a link in. Obviously, put your title in there. Put what you want your button to say in there. Like I say, it'll show up when we put a link in. And probably don't want quite as much text as that. We'll leave it for the time being, that's fine. Now down below, you've got the link. Now, once I put a, a link in here, I'll put a hashtag because I've got no real place for it to go. Obviously, if you were selling something, you'd go to your product page. As you can see, that button has now turned up. If you wanted the actual module itself to link to somewhere else, have the button going to the product page and the module itself going to the category page or the shirts page or wherever you wanted you'd put that in there and normal best practice if you're linking to your own site keep it in the same window if you're linking off-site unlikely in this circumstance put it in a new tab that way your site stays open okay for the background we want a gradient background and as normal with Divi, you've got color, gradient, image, or video if you want. So let's put in a gradient. And I'll just leave it as the generic gradient color there. Great. So we've got that. But we don't want to see this, obviously, until somebody hovers over it. That's what they were asking. So let's put an image behind there. And if you watch any more of my hover videos, you'll know that the image, when we hover the text to image, resides in the column of the row. So let's go into the row, the green tab up here. Got three columns, one, two, three, one, two, three. We're in number one at the moment. Let's go into the background. This time we'll go over to image, give it an image background. And we'll just put that one in right there. Okay, well we can't see our face, so let's go down a little bit and position the image with background image position. So top center I would recommend for this there we are top center that way we get to see her face and part of the shoulders and torso there as well okay that's great we'll just keep that as it is save that save the main row settings let's go back in here and make this disappear so we can see what our image looks like so I'm going to go into the module call to action module there I'm going to go to design. I'm going to go down to filters. And this is where we had to write CSS before. 
in earlier versions of Divi. With a new Divi, you can do this all with the Visual Builder here. And I want to go down to Opacity or Transparency or See-Throughness. OK, now hover over the dark writing. You'll see some little icons appear. Hit the little arrow. Get a desktop state when your mouse is not on it and a hover state when your mouse is on it. Desktop, don't want to see it at all. So I'm going to take that all the way down to zero or totally transparent. Now when we hover over it, I want to see it again. So I want it to be like that, 100%. 0% desktop, 100% when we hover over it. Great. Now what we can do is make this image as tall as we want to show it, sort of give it a minimum height so we can see enough of it to display whatever it is you're trying to display. So let's close up our filters and we'll do that with sizing. And I'm going to give it a minimum height. Could give it a regular height, but minimum height will just make sure it's not going to shrink any smaller. And if you just drag this down until you've got the size of image you want. On tablet, it's going to be a bit shorter. That's OK. And there we go. It's starting to shrink up the bottom of the image there. So anywhere around there. So around 430, I guess. There we go. So it won't display smaller than that, but it can display bigger than that, which is great. OK, now if we hit the hover state on here, I'm not going to make any changes, but you'll see the actual call to action module come in. You might want to give that a little more padding on the top to centralize that. That's entirely up to you. I could give it an extra 50 on the top, perhaps. So let's do that. Get it on desktop. We'll go to our spacing. Close up sizing, spacing is just underneath. Padding on top, I'm going to give it an extra 50. And again, if I hit the little arrow so we can see it on hover state, it's not going to be quite enough, I don't think. Let's make it 100. There we go, that's a bit better. It may even be a little bit much, but that's fine. Now there's the effect that we wanted. Now at the time it's going to take to change from the image to this, basically from this to this, by default on Divi is 300 milliseconds, which is pretty quick, just under a third of a second. I like to slow it down for a bit of drama. So if you go to advanced, go down to transitions, there's the default 300. You can speed it up by putting a lower value in there. I like, I'm going to slow mine down to about a second, something like that thousand milliseconds don't want any delay want it to happen straight away and what I like to use is the ease in ease out speed curve they're all slightly different they'll do different things on different uh, jobs so check them out but for my hover effects this is the my go-to okay now the only other thing when I do this this wasn't what was asked I was just asked to put a gradient in there that we've got here when I do this sort of thing, I like to actually be able to see a bit of the image through the gradient there. Now, it's entirely up to you. If you do, go into your background. Now, it's got a color in there by default as well as a gradient. So the first thing I want to do is remove that color. Now, if we go over to the gradient, I like to see a bit of image behind. So simply select the color, pull the opacity down, and you can start seeing a bit of the image behind. Do the same for the secondary color. There we go. You still want to be able to read that text nicely. And of course, with gradients, you can have them linear. You can have them radial, which emanate out from the middle. So you've got a radiant, radiant color there. And you can get some great effects by changing the start and end positions. You can make it into complete shapes if you want to by doing that. But I'm going to leave mine just as a regular linear. And we should be good to go. Let's save our changes here. We'll save the draft. And we'll exit the visual builder. And there we go. There's our little image when we hover over. We've got a gradient and a call to action button. See a bit of the image through. Like I say, that's pers personal choice there. And this should work fine on tablet and mobile too. I'm using Google Chrome. If I hit my F12, I get my inspector up. 
So here we are on iPad, let's go down. You can see the image fine when you click on it. Pops up with our call to action and gradient there. Let's put it on a cell phone, iPhone 10. There it is again right there. Tap on it and it works fine. So there you go. I hope that's answered your question. That's how to create an image and when you hover over it, a gradient background and some text. So I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, comment, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Once again, this has been Jamie with System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.